during that time i was really thinking like i don't think i want to live in michigan i don't think i'm in the right career path i don't know if i want to go back to school i don't have a job because i'm laid off like what the heck should i be doing right now while most people were probably sitting around just collecting their unemployment and buying things i took this as the perfect opportunity to pivot y'all Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So as you guys can tell, my background is totally different. We're doing a car chat today because I'm at work and I'm on my lunch break and I have about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to record this video before my next meeting. So I was sitting at my desk and I was just really thinking about like, what makes people afraid to pivot in life? Um, do you ever know like people who've been doing the same thing forever and just always kind of like complaining, but not really figuring out what's the best way to get out of the situation. They just complain and complain and complain. But it's just a shift of your mindset to really pivot into something else. Like when you think about it, if this is your dream destination and you're going this way and you need to be going this way, what's stopping you from making that little turn like what is actually stopping you from doing that and um you are literally just a decision away from your dream reality with a pivot and when i say that i want to think back on my own personal story and you guys can kind of just listen to my story and think about it ways have you pivoted in the last few years or what's stopping you from pivoting so in 2020 we all experienced this global pandemic. And in 2020, I would say that I was not content with my life. I was just, I felt so lost. Um, in 2020, I turned 25. So my brain, I don't know, what's it? The frontal cortex or something. The frontal lobe finally did its complete. And I really feel like I just had this wake up call at 25. And I'm just like, what the heck am I doing? Like, I was working in recruiting, which I thought that I wanted to work in, but it was like such a miserable kind of like place. Um, I just wasn't happy in it. Now, mind you, I did gain a lot of experience working in recruiting because being on that other side of the interview process, it helped me figure out how to interview, what questions to ask, and really just how to show up when you're applying for another company. So it gave me that sort of skills and that sort of confidence that would help me pivot into what I'm doing now. So as I talk to a lot of people here lately, a lot of them are Gen X, a lot of them are late 30s, but people are afraid to pivot. And I just, I, I, in my head, I can't understand why. Like, this is your life. You are here for a short time. We are on this earth literally just passing through. So why not make it the best pass through ever? Like, why be here and be miserable or just being afraid to try something that you always wanted to try. I know we kind of value like security and things, but it's like, if your dream destination is here, what is stopping you from changing directions and just going after everything that you want? Like what's really stopping you? And if you really be strategic about it, like you can figure out ways to do it and you don't have to make it like an abrupt change. But I really think it's all about mindset. Once you say like, I'm gonna do something, just let God ordain your steps to do it. You don't have to think about the logistics of how, why, and when. Just know that it's going to happen, but you have to be open to see it. You have to be open to catch the opportunity, open to catch the window for yourself. So I just want to even think back to 2020. We all went through this global pandemic. It shifted a lot of lives. Everybody's life should look a little bit different after the pandemic. Me specifically, um, in 2020, I was working at a company that I've been working for pretty much all throughout college. It was a daycare um, chain, and then I ended up working for their corporate office after I graduated in recruiting. Now, I always thought I wanted to work in talent acquisition. Um, it helped give me a certain amount of skills with being on that side of the interview process and really just learning how to like show up when you are applying for a job, how to make yourself the obvious candidate. It gave me a certain level of confidence on going about, you know, applying for another job or just, you know, being comfortable with that. But honestly, I was just not happy doing it. Like 
2020, I turned 25, you know, that is when your brain like fully develops. And I feel like I just got a download and I'm just like, okay, this is your life. Like what is going to make you happy? During that time, I was really thinking like, I don't think I wanna live in Michigan. I don't think I'm in the right career path. I don't know if I wanna go back to school. I don't have a job because I'm laid off. Like what the heck should I be doing right now? While most people were probably sitting around just collecting their unemployment and buying things, I took this as the perfect opportunity to pivot, y'all. Like, I became a certified life coach during this time. So that's what I used my unemployment for was to get certified. Um, during that time, I also began to help a lot of small businesses with their branding and their marketing. I was building websites. I was doing logos. I was creating marketing materials for small businesses. And this helped me really realize that I'm a creative person. And if I'm going to go back into the workforce, I have to be working in the marketing side of things. Like I cannot be bored at work anymore. Like I cannot go on in life being bored like this. So with that being said... I found out this is my opportunity to pivot. So through, through the pandemic, I went on this entrepreneur journey of trying different things and doing different things and all that good stuff. But when it was all said and done at the end of the pandemic, so around August 2021, I don't necessarily think that's the end of the pandemic, but this was the time where unemployment was done and you need to find a job. So I didn't have a job just yet, but I'm like, okay, I don't have a job. So I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to get my master's in marketing. Hey, cool. So I'm smart because I want to work in marketing. Um, literally the day I started classes, I started my new marketing job that same day. So I didn't necessarily need to go to school to make this pivot happen because I had the job before I had the master's. But I, I still continue to do the master's program and I'm officially done. I walk in December. So that's fun. Um, but honestly, now I'm working in marketing, making six figures and I get to be creative at work. Now, mind you, there is still limitations to where I can be creative because I am working for someone else's company. When it comes to working for yourself, you can have your own creative blast and how you do things. But when you work for someone else, there is going to be um, a level of limitations if you are just like a super creative person. So be mindful of that. But I want to let you guys know that it was literally just a shift. I just made the shift and saying like, I'm taking control of my life and I'm gonna be working in marketing. I'm done with talent acquisition. I wanna do something that's more creative, more fulfilling for me. So that's what I did. And people have to understand that you are in control of your life. You are stopping you from being at your destiny point. And when I say this, like, Stop thinking about what you want as if it's so far away or it's a dream deferred. Baby, it's not. It's literally a mindset shift. Like, what can you do to just simply change directions? Like, stop trying to fit a puzzle piece in a space that it's not meant for. Like, this is your life. And it is time for you to make some shit shake. And I'm, I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but... I just talked to so many people coming and going here lately who are just like, oh, I've been working my job, the same job for 20 years. I don't really know. Like, I don't feel comfortable branching out. And it's just like, while you have the security of your job, start teaching on the side, start giving on the side, start serving on the side. And that is going to put you in position for the opportunity to take your pivot. Like, I understand that it's smart to think about security and just feeling secure in your decision, but I want to tell you guys this, and I said this in a YouTube short, but it is not your business to figure out the logistics of life. You lay out what you want and you let God work his magic. You let God do his divinely thing ask him to guide and ordain your steps in the process. But if you want something, you can't sit around thinking like, oh, how can I do this? How can I do that? Because at that point you're operating from a place of fear and nothing is good is gonna come from fear. Like 
You can't be scared because this is the only life that you get. And do you want to really think back or be on your deathbed like, dang, like I didn't do anything because I was scared. Like I was worried about this and worried about that. But like, if you really believe like, I'm a Christian and when you think about it, he actually, um, they actually talked about this in church yesterday, but like the birds, they don't be worried about anything. Like they don't be worried about where their house is. They don't be worried about like, oh, can I pay rent? Or, oh, am I going to eat? Because they know that God has equipped them with everything that they need. And honestly, guys, we have to adopt that mindset because he did not send you here to be sad. He did not send you here to be miserable. And if even if you have a sad and miserable life, guess what? You can make the pivot. We all have trauma. We all have a sad story. Not all of us, but most of us got a sad story. But guess what? Life goes on. And even if you have a sad story, guys, that could be your blessing that can be how you pivot like say you have a traumatic experience that happened in your life and you've healed and you've grown past it but say you come across somebody later on in life who's had that same experience you can now help teach that person how to get out of that you have an expertise to where you can teach others how to come on the other side of that you know experience or whatever it is Learn how to take your pain and turn it into your purpose. Because guess what? Shit happens to everybody. But guess what? You learn from it. You move on. And you just keep living life. So when I say this, because at this point I'm rambling, but I also got to get back to my desk. It's time to embrace the pivot. What are you going to do next? Like, stop being mad. Stop being sad. This is your life. You're here for a short amount of time what's next so that is my lunch break talk for the day i hope you guys enjoy i want you guys to really think about it like really think about what is stopping you from getting to where you need to be bye never be scared to leave your hometown to grow as much as you love your hometown it's the one place that'll kill your dream if you stay there too long you move to a new city you lose nothing you only gain an opportunity that can change your life the thing about your hometown is it's never going to change. You can always come back and do the same thing that you've been doing with the same people. But you go to a new city, it might be a new relationship that can change your life. It might be a new job opportunity that never been possible for you.